Hey, it's Inkmage, and I wanna take you through a small build I made using WizKids Games Dungeon Warlock Tiles. Now, you can use their tiles to make a elaborate, large setup, or you could do something very focused like I did here, and I wanted to show you how you could use them in a way that maybe you hadn't anticipated trying before to create a um, encounter that is very specific to a, a certain type of location. So let's go and take a closer look. Before we dive into the encounter build I made, I just wanna show you what I used. I used pieces from the Warlock Tiles base dungeon set and the full height stone walls expansion. And of course, the Warlock Clips. So here we have the build. So what is it? Well, I think you can see. This is the top of a keep wall or a castle wall or maybe a city wall with parapets and a guard tower. Now, why I say this is a tightly focused encounter is because I needn't build out the whole wall. I needn't build out the rest of the tower if I know that this encounter is primarily going to take place in this location. Something very cool about the full height walls is they have these slots where you can peg in banners and torches. And I just arrange them, you know, every other on each side. It would provide enough illumination for guards walking the wall. The full height wall provides an amount of cover. And let's take a look so you can see. Let's get down. So there is the guard, I and mean, he could easily step behind the wall for full cover. The space on top is 10 feet wide. So there's lots of room for encounters in action and for daring rogues, you know, who would want to maybe hop up here, right? You've got people on watch up here. And I just dropped down one of the WizKids trap doors, which would lead down into below. So this is how they access the roof. But there's the doors here. But then we go inside. We have a trap door leading further down into the tower. We've got some storage here, as along with some extra armor and a weapons rack and a guard. So. Then we can return that roof back on. Like I said, this is just a very tightly focused encounter. Not every encounter that you set up has to be huge to look great and have an impact. And I think this one looks really good and does the job. It, you know, it, it gives you just what you need for a cool small encounter. So let's take a look. What type of encounter would these guards have to worry about here? Perhaps this is the keep of an evil lord, or your characters are rescuing somebody from the king's dungeons who uh, was wrongfully imprisoned, but first they have to breach the castle, and so they go over the walls. So here you have your adventuring party beginning their assault to free their companion, perhaps. So there you have it. Uh, I think these are really great. They're great to have in your terrain arsenal. You know, I'm a fan of versatility. I like having a variety, but I'm really digging the Warlock tiles and what you can do. I love the combination of the lower and higher walls. I'm a fan of the low walls. I think there's lots of good purposes for using them like I used in this situation, but also just for player visibility. So if you haven't checked out WizKids Games Warlock tiles, this is something I, I totally recommend.